These are the secret master skills for every vocation. And I'm going to show you easily how to get every single one of them in your game. This is Riotous Fury. And as you can see, it deals a lot of blows on an enemy, dealing tons of damage. However, this is only good if you can land the first hit. If you're not able to, you're going to be left open and vulnerable for a little bit of time. But if you do get it, you can perform this amazing combo. By now, you probably already know who Lenart is. He's the fighter maester that you meet at the beginning of the game. But how exactly do you get the ultimate ability from him? Well, it's going to be really simple. And along with unlocking the ultimate ability riotous fury we're gonna also be unlocking a vocation known as the mystic spear hand this is literally all i had to do talk to brand at the tavern and just start the quest monster culling pretty much you just have to go to three different locations to clear this up go to hard village to defeat a bunch of lizards treble mine beating a bunch of goblins and the eastern edge of vermin where you're going to also defeat some more goblins once you're all done with that just go back to brant at night and turn this quest in and then pass time for a couple of days by using the bench right by him at this point you can then hop on an ox cart and take that right back to melv if you did everything correctly you'll find a dragon attacking melv as soon as you arrive there and the quest re-advent of calamity should pop up on your screen if it hasn't just go and rest again for this quest you just have to help the townspeople fight the dragon but thanks to the comments you can also use a ballista and shoot this dragon three times to nuke it i of course did this very early without paying attention so i did it the hard way after you're done with this fight talk to sigurd who's then going to unlock the vocation for you for mystic spearhand that's awesome but also if you go to the gate of this area you'll talk to lenart who will be so proud of you and hand you the soldier's code tome which will then give you riotous fury don't worry we'll come back to the special ability for spearhand later in the video these are the secret skills for the thief formless faint and blades of pyre blades Blades of Pyre is really dangerous to use on its own because it catches you on fire. But check out what happens when you combo Formless Faint with Blades of Pyre. The enemy gets absolutely shredded. So here's how to get these skills. Now to initially get to this quest line, you're going to have to talk to Captain Brant. Select the option on Captain Brant that talks about the False Sovereign. This will then lead you to a location known as the Nameless Village. Once you make your way over there, which is far east of Vernworth, the first thing you want to do is go inside of this specific house and pick up this folded letter. Then after this, make your way to the top of the area to this old noble manor. Over here is where you'll interact with Flawed. Once you're done talking to Flawed, you'll get a dialogue option, which will eventually end up with him giving you something known as Legend's Opus Item. By the way, this is what gives you the Blades of Pyre, which brings daggers together to ignite, wreathing them in a blazing inferno so potent that the user cannot escape from being burned but you just saw we actually escaped from being burned right after this you can go right to the left of the manor and you'll find a little hole there that your pawns will refuse to go down you'll get down to an obstacle course where you basically just have to balance out these beams before jumping on to the next one that's it it just happens twice where you also avoid sandbags once you're all done with that you'll interact with srail who is the first guy you bump into at the nameless village who tells you not to even be there just make sure you keep talking to him until he eventually gives you something known as the pilferer's handbook item this will allow you to learn the skill formless faint make sure to then while you're on the thief class enable these scrolls that way your character can learn them and then add them on as skills after that you should have tons of fun with the thief this warrior skill is called arc of might which basically is going to channel all of the user's strength into a very powerful blow and this will consume all of the user's stamina when activated they love to use stamina up when using all of these moves but it does a lot of damage when you do execute it right if you're watching this and haven't done this yet make sure to unlock warrior and sorcerer simply by talking to claws in vernworth and doing the quest vocation frustration this is just going to take you to the treble mine where you have to follow this path at this location to unlock the warrior weapon and then since you're already here you might as well grab the sorcerer weapon which is located further down here once you turn these weapons into claws you'll have the warrior vocation and sorcerer vocation unlocked now let's get back to the warrior maester this maester is going to be located in an area called the moon glow garden located here on the map you can get over here by traveling with the ox cart from vernworth to melv and from there just follow this pathway until you arrive at moon glow garden 
you'll see someone over here named Baron. If it's daytime, you might not see Baron here or Baron won't even respond to you like a quest is initiating. So make sure to go to the camp that's close by, rest up and do every interaction with this guy at nighttime to be safe. So once it's nighttime, I went back and then all of a sudden Baron starts interacting with me and this is going to initiate the first quest called Claw Them Into Shape. For this, you can simply just head over to Border Watch Outpost and talk to this lady right on the left, buy three swords and then go all the way back to Baron and turn it in. It doesn't matter where you get your swords actually, but this is just the closest spot to where I am. Feel free to get rid of junk swords that you don't care about to turn this in. After this, Baron will then tell you to find a recruit. All you have to do is just head over back to Vernworth. In this case, I'm lucky and I got a fairy stone. So for the sake of this, I'm just gonna teleport right to the town. When you arrive in Vernworth, a boy named Humphrey should approach you close to the inn or vocation guild. I'm standing right by the port crystal, so that's where he showed up, since I used the fairy stone. After you're done talking to him, all you have to do is head all the way back to Baron and make sure it's nighttime again. After this, you're gonna challenge Baron to a duel, and all you gotta do is just pretty much stagger him, pick him up, and throw him out of bounds. It's that simple, and you make him look like an absolute weakling if you can do that. Once the duel is over, you're gonna find out that there is an attack within the vicinity. All you have to do is just follow Baron and his recruit to the area to take out the hostiles. After this, the first quest is done. You then have to go all the way back to the Moonglow Garden at nighttime. If you're having a problem finding Baron after this, just make sure to skip another night, but make sure it's nighttime at the Moonglow Garden. When you go back to the Moonglow Garden, you're going to bump into Baron and the quest is going to initiate called Baron's Final Lesson. At this point, a Cyclops is going to come out. All you have to do is just destroy the Cyclops in however way you would like to. Once the Cyclops is defeated, you're going to have to let some time pass. So go to the camp that's close by, rest up there, then head right back to Baron, talk to him, and then he'll leave the region for good and relocate to his hometown, which will complete the quest. And you'll also get a really cool sword from him. Once you're done, you have to head over to Checkpoint Rest Town. A fast way to do that is just by going back to Vernworth, take the ox cart here all the way to Checkpoint Rest Town. If you're a human, you cannot get past the gate unless you have a permit. And in order to get the permit, you're gonna have to complete the main story objectives that Brant offers you, but then you'll be rewarded for that. Now, if you haven't completed the main story, you can actually sneak in the back bottle. You can either do it by going going down this pathway, which is going to have a lot of bosses along the route, or you can wait until this cart appears in the checkpoint rest town, hop into that. Don't worry, the soldiers will say stuff about you not supposed to being on the cart, but don't worry about that because it'll just go right through and you get the achievement on your PlayStation. So it's really that simple. Now, in order to find his home, all you have to do is just go through the gate, proceed a little further until you see his house. Then you're going to talk to him. He's going to give you Champion's Fable. And then when you learn the skill, it'll unlock the Arc of Might. A big bonus skill that you can get is hitting that subscribe button so you can get the subscriber skill. Seriously, it's a really good one to have. These are the secret sorcerer skills called Meteoron that rains comets from the sky and Maelstorm, as well as the mage's secret skill called Celestial Pain. Out of all the maesters teachings you unlock sorcerer and mage are probably the easiest to screw up and miss out on because of that i'm going to show you how to complete them both at the exact same time without missing out on anything the first thing you want to do is start with the quest for the sorcerer vocation that quest is called sorcerer's appraisal but to do this you will have to meet some requirements first one you must have the sorcerer vocation equipped when you go there and two you have to be wearing the courtly tunic and breaches. Now, if you don't have the courtly tunic and breaches, there's a couple ways to get a hold of these in Vernworth without spending a ton of gold. I got mine by opening up random chests in the castle, but you can either get them from Sven after a small favor and a couple of visits, or swing by the Comptroller's house in the Noble Quarter for a free set. Whatever works for you. Once those two things are taken care of, make your way to Checkpoint Rest Town. If you haven't been there yet, you can catch a ride into town on the West Vernworth Ox Car. After that, make your way to Sorcerer Maester Midrin's house. Once you're there, he will invite you in and ask you for your help. And that is to get five magic books known as Grimoires. This is where it starts to get tricky though, because the books you need to complete this quest are actually the same ones you'll need 
to complete the Mage Maester's quest as well. But don't worry because I'm going to show you how to finish both of these and unlock all their skills with just three grimoires. And here's how. The first and easiest book to get your hand on is Let There Be Light. This one is actually right upstairs from where you were given the quest, but in order to avoid any unnecessary trouble, just head out and around the building, you can use Levitate to make your way onto his balcony and inside where you can grab the grimoire without getting caught. The next grimoire will grab is called Towering Earth. In order to get Towering Earth, you will have to complete a quest called Cage Magistrate, given to you by Brent at the Vernworth Tavern. To complete Cage Magistrate, you'll have to free a man named Waldar from jail. In order to do this, you have to do a quest called the Heal of History, which takes place in the very poor section of Vernworth, and eventually that quest will lead you to a place with plenty of tomes for Waldar to go to. Now, if you start Mydrin's quest before completing the Cage Magistrate, you will be given towering earth upon freeing him but if you're like me and if you freed him way before starting sorcerer's appraisal then you'll have to meet him in the gracious hands vault and now that you started sorcerer's appraisal he will have a new dialogue option offering you the grimoire you need the next and final grimoire is the fulminous shield this one you can easily grab from the peddler outside of melv for 5,000 gold since both maester quests require the same books we are going to have to forge one set of them and keep the real ones for the other. Just make sure you remember the forgeries are for the Sorcerer Maester Myrden, and the real grimoires must be saved for his daughter Trisha in the next quest line. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, you'll want to head over to Ibrahim's secret shop in the Checkpoint Rest Town, located right over here. This is where we'll be making our forgeries. They won't be ready right away, so after handing him the item you want to forge, walk over to this bench right here and pass the time until the forgery is ready. Repeat this for all three books and you're going to be good to go. By the way, you can tell the forgeries a Apart from the real ones by their spelling or phrasing so keep that in mind when you are turning them in after that bring the forgeries to Myrden to complete his quest and unlock the secret sorcerer skill maelstorm which is an insane spell that allows you to drop a massive tornado directly on your enemies he also gives you this sassy little set of clothes called the Ari's morpho rope that's all I'm gonna say about it all that's left to do is head to Enos's house and finish spellbound which gives you the final secret skill for the mage and trust me when i say they are worth it enos home is located north of melv right over here on the map once you arrive here and go inside the home you'll find eni the old lady arguing with trisha our quest giver once they're done and the old lady leaves trisha will ask you the same grimoires myrodin did since we already have those all we have to do is just deliver them rest at the campfire nearby and come back when you get back, you'll find Trisha in her avatar state wreaking havoc. Try not to die while she exhausts her magic. First chance you get, just give her a light tackle and you're good to go. When it's all over and you've spoken to them, you'll need to give Trisha time to recover from her meltdown. To do that, just rest at the campfire again, come back, and they will give you the mage skill celestial pain which gives you near unlimited stamina for a time and this unbelievable sorcerer skill meteoron that lets you rain hell from the sky she will also give you a pretty good staff called the cast stone as mentioned before in the fighter section, you can acquire Mystic Spearhand from your first encounter with Sigurd in Mel during the quest Re-Advent of Calamity, where you fight the dragon with a bunch of pimples. But in order to unlock the secret maester skill for this vocation, you're gonna have to meet Sigurd again at this next location. The location that you need to go to is located all the way in the southwest area of Bak Batal which is going to be this entire forest. So you can make your way all the way towards this forest, and it's a very long climb that does have multiple campsites, but you're going to be fighting a ton of enemies until you reach Dragon's Breath Tower, where you'll encounter Sigurd again, and he'll ask you to help him defeat the Relentless Drake, the same one from the village that ran away. Now, for those who are wondering, you can either come here on your own or follow the main story quest that will eventually bring you to this location anyway. I suggest just following the storyline in New God's Way because it just unlocks a lot of things along the way. However, when you get here anyway, just defeat this dragon by focusing on popping its pimples. That's the 
the only way I look at it. I hate this dragon. It's disgusting. When you're done, Sigurd will be very happy with you and give you a weapon as well as the Paladin's Enigmata Tone, which has access to the ultimate skill Wild Fury for the Mystic Spear Hand, which will allow you to do that really cool Shadow Clone attack that we showed at the beginning. It eats up stamina like crazy, but it looks really cool. This is the Trickster's ultimate ability, Dragon's Delusion, which literally creates an illusionary dragon that terrifies all the enemies around you. It does kind of suck though that it can't do any damage but it's supposed to just be an illusion and in order to get this secret maester skill believe it or not all you have to do is just head over to this location on the map over here in the back bottle region known as the reverend shrine now you can either sneak into the back bottle region ahead of time and just make your way towards the reverend shrine and talk to Luz, or you could just follow the main story quest which is called flickering shadows which will bring you to her anyway and you'll talk to her now here's the best part after you unlock this entire vocation all you have to do is walk a little bit over here in the back look out of this window area and you can see that there is a ladder leading up to the top exit out the building and rotate around to this ladder then climb to the top of this building once you find her she'll just hand you over the scroll and when you learn it it'll give you the ultimate ability dragon's delusion this is the archer skill heavenly shot and it consumes all of the stamina to deliver an extremely powerful blow but in order to get this maester skill there are a few steps the first thing that you have to do is find Glindweir at the plaza in Vernwurt's merchant quarter. It's very obvious he's standing right by the weapon shop. Go up to him and talk and he's basically going to want to receive any bow that you want to provide him. It doesn't matter what bow, cheap or expensive, he's going to have the exact same reaction. The moment you give him a bow, he's going to get all inspired and he's then going to tell you to join him by the ruins north of Treville Mine. So open up your map and you'll see that the location is right over here. Make your way all the way there and and once you finally arrive, you'll then have an interaction with them. Once completing this quest, you're going to have to head all the way back to Vernworth to meet with him again. Make sure though that it is daytime because as you can see on my screen, it's nighttime and he's not there. So I just rested on a bench, made it day and then went back. Glindwer was right there again. Now this time when you talk to Glindwer, it's going to initiate the next quest called Trial of Archery. This will require you to head all the way to meet with him. That way you can make the journey to Sacred Arbor to do the archery trial a pro tip before you go there or if you bump into any npcs along the way is that you find one that speaks their language because when you enter in you will not understand anything there unless for some reason you're a really crazy gamer and understand that kind of language in game so in these two footages i have my friend actually arrived at sacred arbor and did not understand any of the language and i had an npc who knew their language and that caused me to be able to read and understand everything that they were saying in the village so Pro tip, do that. When you arrive at the Arborist home where the trial of archery is supposed to take place, all of that is going to stop because his sister was taken by an ogre. So then you're going to follow the party and make your way to the location where you have to fight an ogre. Now, when you're there, just be careful to make sure nothing happens to the sister as the sister's placed down. If you're not strong enough to take on the ogre, grab the sister and get out of there. If you are, go ahead and beat that ogre and then grab the sister. I got lucky and was able to save her. Once you carry her out of the area, the quest will then be marked complete by talking to his dad, who is actually the maester. The dad will actually give you a powerful bow called the repeller bow, which has like 407 strength. So it's a pretty good upgrade if you have a low level bow. After this point, you then have to make your way all the way back to the sacred arbor, where you're going to then talk to the father again, located here. And when you talk to him he's going to present you with the hunter's secret and if you open up the hunter's secret while you have the archer vocation activated it'll then unlock the heavenly shot this is the magic archer's secret ability called martyr's bolt and it eats your health up in order to deliver this powerful insane flashy attack and the only way to recover your health is by going to a campsite it actually nukes it completely however to obtain this powerful maester skill you're going to have to do a few things if you're playing the main story you'll be able to go all the way from the town and pass through a gate that will allow you to make your way across this entire area but if you're not going through the main story you're gonna have to make your way all the way towards this cave called Drabnir's Grotto 
Komodo and go the hard way, fight a bunch of monsters, and come out the other side. No matter which direction you go, you still have to make your way over to this house over here, known as the Wind Walker's home. Unfortunately, if you just approach her house, she's gonna walk out and want nothing to do with you because she sees no visitors. But if you make your way south of the house, where the campsite is, a little bit to the west of that, you're gonna find her husband who has back pain on the south part here. All you have to do is interact with them and give him three herbs. After that, he'll say, meet me back at the house and you'll make your way all the way back to their house where she'll welcome you in and they want to reward you. Make sure that you pick up the newt liquor on the table. You can see it shows up almost like a quest item, but it's very important to pick up. After this, you're going to accompany her husband to the hot springs located at the volcanic island camp. If you go too fast, he'll slow you down and say his back hurts and you have to wait for him to catch up, but eventually you'll make your way there. As you approach the spring, you're going to also see somebody on the floor named Lamond, but I'm going to talk about him a little bit later. Once the husband goes into the hot springs, you'll find out that the maester also followed you all the way over there and is very happy for your service. While you're talking to her, it'll then unlock the magic archer, which is an extremely broken class in this game. She gives you the spell bow's paradox scroll, which will unlock martyr's bolt. This is the warfarer's special skill called rearmament. They let you cycle through the weapons in your inventory and the cool part is you can set the order of them and can equip any weapon for any class. This of course is a very complicated class but this is a necessary skill if you're going to mix and match a bunch of weapons and in order to unlock this maester skill we're going to have to revisit the drunk guy sitting down Lamund who's in front of the hot springs in the volcanic island camp. Now the quest for this is actually really simple. All you have to do is just hand him three newt liquors. The cool part is if you already unlock the mystic archer you already have one newt liquor from the mystic archer maester's house which means you probably only need two more but if you're watching this even before you reach this point there's actually a place where you can buy unlimited newt liquors that's going to be in the city of back batal also sorry if i'm pronouncing anything wrong during this these words are very hard for me all you simply have to do is make your way over to this location you're going to see a bunch of sandbags over here and what you're going to need to do is just pick up the sandbag place it in this little pen area. This is going to cause some guy to alert the guards that you're picking up something. It doesn't matter if you're doing this during the day or during the night, you most likely are going to get attacked. After whatever happens, whether you kill the soldiers, whether you not kill the soldiers, and that sequence is over, all you have to do is just make your way up this flight of stairs to the right of this area, open up this door, and talk to this guy right over here, who's going to sell you unlimited newt liquors that cost you 5,000 gold apiece. You can grab three if you haven't done the Mystic Archer vocation yet, or if you already have that and plan to do that along the way, you can just grab two and then make your way back to Lamund, give him the, all three Newt Lickers. He will then unlock the Warfarer vocation, as well as giving you the scroll that will unlock the skill Rearmament. 